Back to reality. Oh, there goes rabbit. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll build another stable. See, so if I throw it on a stable right here, obviously I can't this very second because there's stuff in the way, but if I were to... Yeah, we need stables, right? What would that be under? Is it under... I never built one stable. Not under farming. Is it under crafting? Where are the stables? Storage? All right. Oh, wait. I guess the other... Oh. All right, so the stables take 10 building logs, 100 rock. Not shaped rock, just rock. Oh, we don't have any straw, guys. No straw. I think we'd be out. Uh, we've got some rock out the north here for this road. Okay. But I think we're out of straw. <laughs> This sucks. Yeah, we won't have straw till middle of March. Yep. We got a bit to go until we can build more stables. Well, that sucks. I think we just have like a random amount in here somewhere. Like there's like 17 or something like that. No clue. Hey, where'd all the storage go that was inside the warehouse? bark boxes yeah the, and the barrels i don't know what happened to the barrels the bark boxes i took um they were empty who's training on the school it's grim bandana yeah it's laf is life my man What's his outfit? This is chainmail. It's the uh, light chainmail with the uh, slobbered skin. Here, I'll take off the uh, I'll take off my tabard so you can see it a little bit better. I think it looks pretty sick. Yeah, that's I, I love the fur, man. The fur is where it's at. I'm not going to lie, though. I freaking love our tabard. Oh, and uh, by the way, Sergeant Andrew, we discovered that you do not need hay to breed. If anything, it increases the chances, but we used up all the hay and they ended up breeding when we just had apples in there. Looks like somebody left it in the mud. Looks like lion fur, where'd you get it from? Right? Actually... No, no, I knew what you meant, place. Or, plastic. Plastic. I keep calling you place, man.
Yeah, I know, Sergeant Andrew. Uh, but we were talking about it in the last meeting. And uh, you do not need hay. I was under the impression that we needed hay as well. But we ran out. We had like a random amount left. Uh, 17, we put it in there. They ate it. Still didn't breed. Came back later. Then we had a new horse. Why do you eat raw nuts? Because right now I'm not doing a power hour. And I'm not going to be doing anything to level. So basically you don't waste food if you don't need to. I'm not going to be doing any leveling uh, for any skills that I want slash and or need. Only eat food that's high quality if you need it. So if you just need to eat some food because you're going to be terraforming or whatever. Then you're doing the wrong thing. All right. I'm going to make sure nothing was in there. See, when a boy horse likes a girl horse, right? <laughs> so was there something that you were looking for that were in those boxes? Uh, is there something I was looking for that was in those boxes? Uh, no, no, no. I was just, just went in there to... Look. I can't remember what I was looking for. Oh, I was looking for the random amount of hay we had left, but it's gone now. The, uh... Yeah, I just went in there to look around and just realized they were gone. Barrels have been gone for about a week now. Um, Unacceptable. Just, yesterday, yesterday I took them for the herbs. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Still getting used for storage wherever it's at, so it doesn't matter to me. So it's four by three, yeah? Uh, yep. Uh, you know, four, yeah, four by two, and then, yeah, the, the two in the front for the road around the, because there's going to be a road around the uh, castle wall there. Yeah, that's what I did with this 4.2 going out both ways and yep. straight north. So over here, so you can do whatever you want on the north side. So the north side starts, though. Uh, as far as, like, the way I'm designing the realm goes, is going to be in quadrants, north, south, east, west. So the north side ends at this point right here along this wall. And so this side beyond this is going to be leveled out to 22.3, then 22.4 up here with a wall going across it. So you so basically everything up here, in, like, pat, that go in your direction towards the trees, like, all your area forestry stuffs, whatever you want to do. It's got this, what, the whole north area? For now, yeah. I mean, eventually it'll be bigger than you would ever possibly need, but yeah, for now. Well, you've seen what I've been doing over the northeast area. And uh, you know the that, that... Yeah, the... Um, yeah, the five you know by fives. Chunk of terraforming that we never got around to finishing. Oh, yep. That lump, I've got rid of it. If you're on an island, you're probably in the south, my man. So you couldn't pay me enough to go down there. <laughs> All right, guys. Last chance, last call. If you do not own the game, type an exclamation point. LIF is life. Exclamation point LAF is life, and then we're going to do the giveaway. Well, just because I'm, I'm like forever away from it, man. Like, it would, it would take me two, three hours to get down there with armor and, you know, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. You'll do it for a janky PC. KSTM underscore. Welcome to the giveaway, friend. All right, guys. Any other takers? 
Any other takers? KSTM, thank you for the follow of the punters. Welcome to the stream. It's good to have you here. Even if you guys do not win this giveaway, there is a giveaway at the end of every month. All you have to do is do loots, exclamation point loots. Click on the link. Hey, my, my, how you doing? All I gotta do is do that. Click on that link. Do you smell that? Oh, it smells like we have a new All right, here it goes, friends. We're gonna roll it. We're gonna roll it. Death Carrier 123. Congratulations, my man. Brand newcomer, too, man. Anybody that didn't win, do not fret. Do not fret. We do giveaways at the end of every single month. In order to get entry into those giveaways, though, you have to do exclamation point loots. Click on the link, submit a loot. When it pops up on screen, on stream, you know you're good to go. And you got entry into the drawing. You do it once every 15 minutes. That means every 15 minutes you get an additional ticket into the drawing, guys. But you need to do the loots. Congratulations to Death Carrier 123. Uh, hey, can you come back, uh, Ishtar, and uh, dig this one out right in front of me? One sec. No. Uh, I think it's the one I'm stint. Yeah, this one right here. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> You're like, we, we hate you, Carrier. Is he even here right now? Yeah, he is. Death Carrier is here. Death Carrier, where are you at? Where are you at, man? Well, the one to your left. That needs to come out as well. Was interested and found your chat? Very nice. Very nice. What'd you say? The one on your, the left here. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll get them all. I was going a straight line because it's easier. Oh no, does it need digging out? Oh, um, yes, yes. My bad, man. I was like, don't worry, man, I'm turning around. <laughs> I got this, man. Um, do these edges want watering so we have plants coming out the edges of the walls? Uh, that would actually be nice, yeah. Well, so it w so after winter's over, when it rains, they'll do it automatically. So when it rains, it acts like you watered them. So it's not something we have to do manually. Uh, but it does level up farming, well, I believe. Yeah, it does, but very little. It's just um, I've noticed that leaving loosened earth and oh, I raining, see you, my man. it doesn't go back to compact. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the greenery doesn't grow again. We're about to get someone who loves to AFK and fish and wow. Nice, Eos. Hell yeah. With baldness, I remind you of Walter White from Breaking Bad a lot now. You definitely need his black hat. You know, you're not the first person that said that. Somebody, uh, somebody at my old work told me that I should be Walter White for Halloween once. Is it just a pain in the butt, Methy? All right, give me one second. I gotta, I gotta send the winner of the giveaway uh, his information. I gotta run back in town real fast. All right, my guy. I'm going to send you an actual message.
in Discord with your code and the link that you need to use to redeem it. Congratulations again, my man. Everybody else, don't freak out. All you got to do is type in exclamation point loots. Need to see what I'm working with. No, no, no! I'm sending him a message in, uh, in pri and in Twitch. A uh, message in Twitch. Not a whisper, but a message. So check your messages up top, like so. Click on your name and then go to messages. any more boards up there negative i can make you some though unless did you take them all to the warehouse already damn it i'm black on monster get actually i'm red on monster i'm red on monster what's the ticket system in this game uh what do you mean do you oh do you mean character tickets Yeah, so character tickets, the way it works is uh, you make a character and it goes onto a starting island called Noob Island. It's, a, it's an island that resets, uh, the physical island itself resets every month. And uh, w after it resets, your characters are still there, but, the, but, your, but your progress you made as far as like building stuff is gone. Um, so it's really a temporary place just to level up. And then what happens is you can make you can make just an ungodly amount of uh, characters on New Island that aren't actually they don't cost you anything they're free they they take nothing you can make seven of them if you wanted to but then at some point when you want to move a character from New Island to the main game it costs you one ticket and then that character is forever now on Abella Abella is the name of the you know the landmass. The 21 kilometer by 21 kilometer map that makes up the MMO, and that's what takes a ticket. And then there's no more there's no more cost for you playing the game after that. Just that one ticket. You've got a character. You don't have to pay another dime forever if you didn't want to. If you want to level up, uh, you if you want to have your power hours, you pay for a subscription, uh, but it's not necessary and realistically unneeded. Um, but yeah, so there's no real pay to win in the game, and it also only costs you ten dollars as a bar, you know, en entry cost. So it, overall, this game is very, very cost effective, and it's good, very, very good game. So basically, one ticket is ten dollars, is what it breaks down to. So if you if you were to win the drawing through loots, you get twenty dollars worth. So you'd end up with two tickets. Unless you want skins. The skins in the game, which do nothing besides looks, they literally give you zero benefit. Nothing at all. It's just purely appearance. Are way expensive. <laughs> very, very expensive. 
We're talking like for the most expensive skins, they're around two hundred dollars. And all of them are in period, like none of them are like crazy, like get this sexy toon skin. She's got a she's got a steel steel breastplates and that's it. No, it's it's all realistic in period. Like they just look cool, is what it is. And bear in mind if you're buying skins, that the skins only apply to a specific type of armor. So you can't wear like leather and put on plate mail skins. Matthew, you're like, I want sexy plate armor. Matthew, Matthew would be the very first person if they released some kind of female bathing suit armor. He'd be like, how much? 700? I'm in, bitches. Oh, did you, Fox? I want to see this shit, man. Lou, have a fantastic night, my man. Oh, for the record, man, uh, this is to you, Ishtar. The, uh, so, so anything beyond, I should have been more clear. So basically where you're planting now and further is all yours. So closer to the town here, I'm going to be building three little three bedroom houses for everybody's alts in the guild. Yeah, you mentioned that yesterday. That's why I was doing this area. Yep. Makes sense. I just, I, I just realized I'm like, oh shit, I told him this is all his. I wanted to make sure I corrected myself before it's too late. Somebody put a stack of 9032 quality gold in the warehouse? How dare they? Didn't they know there's a pit for that shit? Get that shit out of there. <laughs> it's probably been there for weeks, it's just been hidden under a billion other things. I thought I was flattening. Why do we do that? This is nighttime. I better uh, better pray before the new day. Thank you very much, Matthew. I appreciate that, my man. Count them tiles, baby. Thank you very much, Grim. I appreciate that, brother. 
Guys, every time you do a loot, you get entry into an end of the month giveaway. Make sure you're doing loots. I feel like I could terraform for days. It just looks so peaceful. Honestly, Ghetto Churro, it's so relaxed, man. It's it's the game is crazy. So you're you're like in a relaxed state for like four hours, and then all of a sudden an arrow whizzes by your head, and then it's like super high drone, like, oh shit, there's guys here, and then everybody's like fucking pulling out their swords and everything's going crazy. And then it's back to peaceful again. And it's this crazy, it's it's so reminiscent of real life army. It really is, man. Just shit's peaceful. It's been days, weeks, maybe even months since anything stupid's happened. And all of a sudden it's high adrenaline for like 20 minutes. And then it's back to peaceful again. And then and then you're just like, where are they at? And then for like the next literally, like, it'll be like the next two or three days. You'll even hear it in chatter. You'll you'll notice if you guys watch the stream a lot, you'll notice that for the next two or three days after a big attack. Everybody will be like, fuck, I hear a horse. Shit, is that you outside? Who's above me in the mine? And you'll hear it like all the time. And then and then after a few days, everything will be relaxed again and everything's chill. Everybody gets really laissez fair. Can I start putting uh, dirt on top of it? Any of the flattened parts? Yes. Uh, you put all your high quality soil up there. I don't really have huge high quality. I found 80, 89-ish. Well, I mean, quality. so it's, it's purely up to you, man, because all that is your, you know, like you and the other herbalists gathering area. So well, whatever you find, you put there, my man. On eight, about being in vulnerable? Be hundred quality. Okay. So if, if, if I've got 80 quality soil or higher, Yep. Then all of the, the herbs can be 80 quality or higher, so it'll be it'll be okay for now, and then we can yeah. Um, what is it called? Fertilize. Crap on it. Yeah, fertilize it. <laughs> Did you say put crap on it? <laughs> I said crap on it. Crap. I love it. Let's fertilize it too, I suppose. You know, supposedly, I don't know if it's an urban myth or not, but uh, supposedly that's where the term shit came from, actually. From shipping fertilizer. Because it was labeled shit, ship high in transit. Or store high in transit is what it stood for. Because it's explosive, so if you put it underneath the underneath the decks of a ship or at the bottom of a wagon or something, it builds up flammable gases. And wasn't it John Crapper that came up with the first flush toilet? And that's why the toilet's you know, called Crapper, and you have crap. Yeah, so so I've actually heard that, and then I've also heard that that was an urban myth as well. I've heard the same thing about the term shit, so I don't know. It's so hard to discern these days what's just myth and what's real. History of loots. In the 1920s, the preferred method of long-distance communication was not none other than loots. Oh, True Thomas fact. Crapper. Thomas Crapper. That's the name I've heard, yep. Man, there is no shortage of loots. Like, literally, no shortage of loots whatsoever. This is beautiful, guys. Flushing toilet was in invented by John Harrington, 1596. Joseph Brown of Yorkshire patented the first practical water closet in England. So I remember uh, doing history, taking history in school. And it was all... Uh, Britain since the Industrial Revolution, so Britain since 1700. Yeah. The flush toilet came up in that. I forgot what I was doing there. Sorry guys, I'm looking at something real fast.
I was making sure that uh, I was making sure that if I export the data for everybody's loots, that I was still going to be able to grab it all with how many people are doing loots. Because I freaking I'm so happy with the massive amount of looters there are. It's amazing. So many people contributing to the giveaways. It's just there's going to be some good giveaways, guys. I mean, if you guys keep up at this rate, I'll be able to give away way cooler things than just a simple game. Was there any more rock than this pile right here? No, that's all I gathered up from um, the roads that were laid out here. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you like you don't understand. Like, laid it out. Yeah, yeah, I was just. Doing some planning for the other, like not for this side, because this side was flat, that's why I was doing it over here. Just testing out some ideas for the way I want to lay out the uh, the west side, once we level it out. For actual realm guys that we recruit. Um, I'm digging up this soil, I'm um, fertile soil, and just dropping it back down. And leveling and watering it. Well, I don't mean I, gonna get built when I say that. simple games. I don't mean it like that, my man. What I mean, what I mean by that is like, because right now, right now at the target, honestly, we'll be giving away more than if you guys keep it up the way it is. Like it'll it'll be way more than just one or two giveaways of twenty gold, like it'll, or twenty or uh, twenty thousand. Uh, God's favor. It'll end up being. Uh, I'm thinking it'll be more. Yeah. If you guys keep up at this rate, it's fantastic. We'll, we'll, we'll probably end up doing like three or four. Um, if you guys accelerate it and do more than you're doing right now, we'll probably end up giving away like the 100. We'll end up doing like maybe a month where we do a giveaway for like one large pack, like the, the $100 pack. I think it's the Believer's Pack, I think they call it. Betting what I want to do right now with this tune. I think I know what I need to do, but I don't want to do it. Really don't want to do it, but I'm gonna. No, there aren't any more new apple trees. All right, I'm gonna do my uh, I'm gonna do my stone step thing over here, guys, and then delete them all afterwards. Oh wait, hold on. A lot of this is farmland, so I can't do it here because it's stupid. Even though it's something you can move, it considers it non-buildable land. Do it this way. Oh, there's shit here too. It's so funny because I so I could build the stone steps on any land unless it's farmland because they're movable but I could pick it up and I could put it on farmland afterwards can't build it there though I can even build it on like a mountain slope like this hellacious slope one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven I mean, I could build it here. It's going to be kind of nightmarish because it'll be all crazy slopes and shit, but it's fine. We'll build them here. So you will see people argue with me about this. Oh, Matthew, you're so excited. You're like, called it. This is the most annoying way to do your power hour for masonry. But, but, note that hands down, 
It is the best way to power level it. It's annoying. It's miserable. By far the best. This time, Methy, I think I'm going to legit build like three, maybe even 350 of them. Because every time I've done it, I've gotten faster at it. Negative Sergeant Andrew. So I've literally done the math for every single thing. And per stroke, stairs, by far the best. So no joke, uh, I went from 42 to 60. It was like 59.8 in one power hour. Fifty nine or uh, 40, 43, yeah, like 43 or something like that. Yeah, the first time it was 120, and then we went up to 230. I'm not expecting to, so, so, Matthew, yeah, I'm not expecting to get through all of them inside the power hour. Yeah, so so Sergeant Andrew, uh, at one and that was at one point seven food. The uh, at one point seven food, and we got much better food this time around. So I'm hoping to get a lot more than that. And I think what the fuck happened to my head? I missed it. The spade gave me a sudden jerk in my hand. Stupid spade. The annoying thing, though, Sergeant Andrew, is the setup. The setup is brutal. That's the worst part of it. Um, I, I haven't power hour to sense, man. It should just be 60 or something like that. Yeah, 62. <laughs> like, I literally stopped after that and just been doing construction for you guys and whatnot. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't actually had time to do... Well, first of all, I haven't had power hours. I wasn't paying for power hours anymore. But I decided to do it yesterday. To, uh, I bought it yesterday for leveling up my um, building maintain. But nobody broke all the shit that I needed them to. Unless it is all broken. Hmm. The only reason I know it's not all broken is because nobody's complaining to me. drive you crazy i know man that's what i'm saying it's not a fun process at all it, it truly it sucks so bad oh yeah yeah don't get me wrong like if you if you've saved up a whole bunch of mats inside of a bunch of walls then you could do it that way no problem but as far as like just you know pr purely for propelling it forward if you're not actually building something like, if you have nothing to build and you just want to power hour it, this is the way to do it, man. It's brutal. And it sucks. But it gets the job done. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, I hate it. But the thing is, it's so effective. <laughs> like, the Blue Risk use some upkeep? Roger that, my man. What I need to do to start off my ascension towards having a high food quality meter. We're going to eat some like 60, hopefully if we can find some 80 quality double food stuffs in there. I'll get through this row and then I'll work on the bloomeries. Ooh, baby. You messed up some of them kilns for me? I love it.
I was gonna find where all my shit got moved to. All the repair kits that I had. There was tons. I ended up I I put them a little bit everywhere actually, but Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because I, I put some in like a cart. I put some in a barrel. I put some in a cart. I put some in a barrel. And there was still more that Dunder moved. I was going to find where they all are. Because one of them's in a hand cart. Or not one of them. Some of them are in a hand cart. Some of them are in a barrel over by the... Um, the broken toolbox where the broken tools all go. I put a few inside of a... I think I put a few inside of the southern warehouse. Yeah, I kind of put them everywhere. And then there was still like, I think, 80 of them left on the ground that I couldn't find a place to store them, so I'm like, whatever. No, whatever. Them in the bag. No, no, yeah, there was some left in the bag. I mean, there was no. still like 80 left in the bag, right? Uh, there was a lot more than that. Yeah. I, I went and filled up the carts. I filled up the inside of the um, warehouse, the cart in there. The one warehouse. Oh, I didn't even think about putting them in the cart in the warehouse. Okay. And then there Sorry. was a bunch of nails. You had like, like 600. Yeah, the... somebody asked me for those, though. They didn't come and grab them. Who was nails. it that asked me for nails? I put the nails in, in the blacksmithing box as well okay and then the the tool the broken tools has some um there were broken tools in the same bag no there's broken tools and i put some um what's it called i put some repair repair kits inside of the broken tool area oh oh gotcha 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 okay so that means they're all in that side okay so I remember where I stored the rest of them. So I put some in a hand cart. I put some in the southern warehouse, which is really the eastern warehouse, but it's the only one we have built down there, so it's the southern warehouse right now. There's some in one of the horse carts. But I think it's the I think it was the covered horse cart, so they might have gotten moved by Ross before he took it out. Yeah. <sighs> there's there's repair kits everywhere right now. <laughs> like they're the thing is they weigh so goddamn much, they still weigh ten stone mm -hmm. per. So it's just a nightmare trying to store them. But the, doesn't the materials weigh less than what the actual end product is? No, so the billet weighs 10, and then the nails weigh very little. And then it evens out to 10, so like the, the weight of the nails goes away. Bel... Belgarid? Bell Gar Garyad? Uh it's possible to macro, but it's against the rules to macro. Um you can make simple click macros, but that's it. You can't do any complex action macros or you get banned. How's the MMO's land as massive as they said it would be? Land equals world. Uh Laxifisk, it is, man. It's 21 kilometers by 21 kilometers. It is fucking gigantic, my man. It is huge. I lost my tempo. Uh, it, it's just massive, yeah. Uh, I just want the game. I'm gonna macro for collection mushrooms for it. Uh, you don't actually need to macro to collect mushrooms. Yeah, you can just collect mushrooms forever. You just stand there. Yeah, it doesn't take any... It doesn't take anything to do it, yeah. So you literally just tell it to gather mushrooms forever. So I'll show you what I mean. They added an infinity thing. So, like, if you click the ground here, and I want to say gather... I can't gather mushrooms because I don't have the right level for it. But you see these infinity symbols here? So if I want to gather plant fiber infinitely, he'll just do it. And he just keeps on going. He's like a trucker, bro. There ain't no stopping him.
Is it possible to become the lone woodman and not be rated constantly or required to join a big alliance? Um, I mean, you pretty much have to join a guild, yeah. Soloing, you you can you know you can go out there and you can solo, and more than likely though, no matter what, you're gonna die once a week. Like, and every, your entire everything you have is gonna be reset every week. You're gonna end up being in a new place with new lands, with new people around you because uh, it takes about. 30 seconds for a large guild to come in, destroy your monument during uh, Judgment Hour, and then destroy everything you have and take everything valuable. And kill you in the process. So, I mean, Laxafisk soloing, not such a good idea. Uh, however, there's a lot, like, people have set up guilds in many, many different ways. So I'm not saying that as a solo player, you're not going to you're not gonna be able to live on your own. There's guilds, like mine, that will offer you a spot in the realm and you can live and work independently, do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, you have your, uh, well, I'll give you a little personal claim on the land, and it'll start out as a five by five. Um, as you contribute more, I either will grant you more land, or you could just, you know, keep your five by five land and keep on soloing. Uh, you don't have to build a house in your little five by five slot. We'll have a house provided for you. And then you get your little five by five slot to do whatever you want, store your stuff, set up kilns, set up, you know, whatever it is you want to do. Um, and then the way that you trade stuff to us and get stuff from us is going to be through a trade house that I'm going to set up. So I'm going to set up a trade house just for the realm and people that live in the realm that want to play solo that aren't really interested in partaking in a large guild group activities. Um, all you got to do is if you have extra stuff that you make, um, you can either put it in the public trades, uh, in the public market where anybody in from any guild can come up and buy it for gold and then you make that gold um or you could throw it into the uh, into like the town realm marketplace that's just for trading between town and realm and realm and realm and town and town uh you know so basically anybody inside the guild um or that you know they're able to trade inside that warehouse uh for discounted prices obviously so like if if i produce something and i throw it in there i'm not going to put it up for the public market price is going to be in there at a price that's priced for people in the realm. So I would recommend joining a guild like mine. Uh, I'm not saying you have to join my guild, but you jo join a guild like mine, you know, where, there's, where they're setting up a, a realistic realm where people can play. People that are in the realm, they don't have to contribute to group projects. However, we also do offer, um, I'll be offering gold, the, the actual in-game currency, uh, like gold, silver, copper, for time contributed towards group projects. Like if I want to dig a moat, I'll come out there, you know, I'll, I'll put a, a message in Discord saying, hey, anybody in the realm that wants to earn some gold today, um, give me some of your time during the stream, and we're going to dig a moat. And then we'll give some coinage to, you know, people that are in the realm just wanting to dig a moat with us. But it's not a requirement. People in the town, people that are a part of the town in the center of the in the center of the city, those are all the hardcore guild members that are going to be doing group projects and you know going to war together and all that stuff, which you as a realmy can still partake in, but you're not required to put in the time and stuff like that. <laughs> gold? Now, when I say gold, I mean coinage, my man. I mean coinage, not necessarily gold. Yeah, Laxafisk. So, so if you do want a guild like that, where you don't have a time requirement or contribution requirements to stay in it and all that kind of stuff, um, this is the guild for you, my man. What did I just do? Um, Itsuki, how are you doing?
man, I see a lot of new, I almost said a lot of new faces, a lot of new names out there, guys, a lot of new names. Um, if you want to lurk, lurk away, guys, that's absolutely fine. However, if you do want to introduce yourself, we're a very welcoming group, guys, where it doesn't matter how bad you are at English, doesn't matter, doesn't matter what you're here for, all you gotta do is say hi, we'll welcome you. What are you doing now? I don't know much about this. I uh, don't know about this game very much. So right now what I'm doing is I'm preparing myself for a power hour. Um, so masonry is kind of a challenging um, skill to level up. And there's a lot of things at level 90 that are guild knees right now. Uh, yeah, we're on NA, Sarb. Uh, can you show me that infinite gathering? How do you do it again? Oh, yeah, no problem. All you got to do is click. So you, when you go to gather, um, you'll see mushrooms. All you got to do is click this little infinity symbol. So turn it from plus one to infinity, and you'll do it forever. Or until you run out of stamina. You started playing a couple of days ago, but you're on EU server? Ah, oh, very nice, sorry. Yeah, um... This game is phenomenal. How are you liking it so far? Did you play Life is Feudal your own, or are you brand new to the Life is Feudal series? If you guys are interested in winning giveaways at the end of the month, uh, what is the final goal of this game? Rule the whole world? Um, I would say as a as an alliance, yes. As a single guild, probably not. That's a, that's a kind of a far-fetched goal. But I would say as an alliance, it would be to control and keep your area. The grind is very real. Liking it so far? Yeah, so the nice thing about the grind, though, so this game is paced at a, in, in a way that, it, to me, is kind of perfect, right? This game is not for everybody. Definitely not for everybody. You'll see right, you guys will see messages that'll pop up over here on the right. And what that is is a loot. So every time you do a loot, mushrooms you don't run out of stam. Yeah, I know. Well, you, you can still run out of hard stam though if you try and leave it there like overnight. That's why I was letting them know. Oh well, that would only be because you went hungry and then it went into your hard stam. Yep, exactly. I, I was just letting it because you're not gonna be able to just stand there and do it forever is what I was trying to get across. So basically. I was warning him to check his tune every once in a while by saying that. Yeah. Because you, you can also do it with other skills, though, that do lose hard stam. The infinite gather thing. Yeah. Uh, I feel it is really similar to old... Yes, it is. Uh, that comparison has happened a lot. Yeah, I see that all the time. Get the fuck out of here, Andrew. You get out of here. <laughs> Actually, Andrew, if you want to, man, if you want to come over here uh, after I'm done, if there's, because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna mass produce them. If you want to, man, you can finish them up for me. Or if you want to help me lay them out and build them, man, we can just knock them out together. If you're looking for a group activity that you don't really need to do as a group, but you just want to, just for the company, come on over here, man. Start laying some out, and we'll get like 400 of them out there, and. Count them out together, man. And watch her level skyrocket. I think, honestly, I'll have to do this. Because the, uh, the, the drop in experience was extreme. As soon as I hit 60. Um, <laughs> getting the 90. It might, it might take me two or three times of doing this, man. It doesn't make me very excited. Got to get those walls up. I know, man. Yeah, sometimes practicality is better than just power leveling. Um, and, and personally, I believe in leveling through practicality, like just doing the action as needed for your guild to level up. But at this point, Looks we like need the large the stables. Long. We need... What's that? Looks like I'm bringing in the last one. <laughs> Any tips how to level up Slinger? I have 37.5 because I had to die to be in a better spot. Um, Bell, the best way to do it is to get armor, um, get these, get the armor that you're able to wear as a slinger and have somebody punch the living shit out of you, my friend. Somebody's gonna have to restock them. Yeah, I did it for you yesterday. It took me like an hour. <laughs> I was like, 
What's that? I don't know how to stack them like that. I mean, it's easy. All you do is right click on the ground, say drop, and then you manipulate it left and right, up and down till it looks pretty. So every time I try to drop it like that, it says that it, there's no like where to drop it. Yeah, you you got to leave space between the objects. Like uh, yeah, you got to leave space. So even from the ground, yeah, you got to go you up drop a little it, bit. Like, in the middle of nowhere, like nothing yeah, yeah, you got to lift it up. So the default height is not right. You have to lift it up. Alright, let me try. Uh, for a slinger, you don't want to do it into a shield. You just want to do it in your armor. You have to just punch it with fists. Um, if you position yourself just right, like jump up on like a bark box or something and have somebody punch you in the shin. Uh, and there's a way you could do it to where you do like anywhere between 0.4 and 0.7 damage. So you take the least amount of damage. Punch you in leather? Kinky, I know, right? So it doesn't let me do anything when I click on the arrows. Uh, you gotta click and pull. Like hold while you're holding it down. Um, I'm good for my armor, man. Alrighty then. I got it now. Uh, you were taking damage through it though, right? I didn't know you had to fix it. I didn't know how to do that. You gotta figure it out though now? I figured out now. I didn't know you had a drag. God, yes. That makes me so happy. Because <laughs> I had to spend an hour. I was like, oh my god. This is taking so long. <laughs> this is brutal. Like, stacking one at a time doesn't feel so bad. It's when you when, like when you have like 100 of them to stack. Which, by the way, you cut down a lot more than I thought you did. I was like, damn. She cut down a lot of these fucking things. That's awesome. I got this. But it didn't feel so awesome when I was having to stack them all. Fuck yeah, me. I'm sorry. If I do, if I do have a stack yesterday, I would have stacked them. But now I can stack them for you. So. Thank you. <laughs> Literally, when I first saw it, I, did you hear me when I said that? When I walked out and saw it the first time? I can't remember if you were asleep or not yet. I walked out and I saw it. And I was like, holy Jesus. <laughs> Because there was way more than I thought, and I was like, oh my god, this is going to take me forever to stack. Are any of your loot showing? Let me see, my man. Uh, they're coming in so fast, man. There's a backlog. Let me see. Yeah, yours are in the way, man. Yeah, the history loots. Yeah, I've been reading them, man. They're hilarious, by the way. The furthest known loot was from Russia, Alexand. R. Luzitkin? Luz while skimming the Earth's atmosphere. True story. <laughs> I love them. In the 1920s, the preferred methods of long-distance communication was none other than loots. True fact. There's literally so many guys that I'm going to have to pause it and then when I log off tonight and log on tomorrow, I will play it. And they will be playing tomorrow when I start the stream from tonight. There is that many loots going through. I am living in a castle, my friend. This castle. It is better to let them hit you with fists, yeah. You take you take less damage and you level up. Yep. So I could see 
So let me put this in perspective, guys. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 26 loots in the queue right now. You guys are slaying it. I absolutely love it. Do not stop. I'm not saying slow down. I'm not saying that's too many. There's no such thing as too many, my friends. Keep them coming. I fucking love it. I love it. Because the start of the stream is a little bit slow, so it'll just be able to keep on going tomorrow and it'll be perfect. Oh, no, no, no. Don't slow down. Don't slow down. Yeah, punch into your shin. You take the least amount of damage. It's all about positioning, though. Getting punched in the shin alone doesn't make it the best. You gotta punch into the shin, and you're trying to get the least amount of damage. So they want to position super close to you with their shoulder into you. That way they do the least amount of damage. Basically, they want to do the least effective fighting as possible. Do the opposite of good fighting. Don't swing into it. Like, yep. You want to. You want to make sure that it'll take a few times to get the position down right, and then after that, you just keep on spamming attack, and you'll be good to go. If you have any uh, any soft stamina preps, uh, if you have an alchemist that can give you soft stam or uh, sorry, st uh, soft HP preps, um, use them before your hard HP starts to drop because your hard HP will drop to fill up. So basically, hard HP fills up your soft HP. So so as your soft HP is going down, you need to you need to be using soft stamina preps to get it back up to avoid uh, avoid taking hard HP damage. You'll still take some hard HP damage, but it'll make it last way longer. Is there any guide video for it? No, I should make a guide video for it. There's a million things. I should make a guide video for a question, guys. What do you think? I'm going to do a little poll here real quick, guys. There's like a thousand guides I need to make for people. But I have no time during the day. The only thing I could do is take a day off of streaming and spend that day making guide videos. So I could just get together with the Grim and all the other guildies and I could put together some guide videos. Would you find that more valuable than... Is it, do you guys think that's worth taking a day off of streaming? No. All right. <laughs> Belgarid says yes. I know I'm butchering your name, my man. What do you want me to call you? Give me something to call you so I don't keep on fucking up your name. Yeah, the problem is, though, I still don't have time to cut those out, man. I've got the videos saved. Man, I, I, I just need to spend that. The, the problem is, I literally, like, no joke, guys, I don't have time. Bell's okay. Okay, I'll call you Bell, my man. I, I'm sorry. Uh, one thing I did, I make a live while well, streaming and just post it up and not the most efficient, but it works. Adds a more interesting twist. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I think for me it would be good as well, Bandana. But, uh... This is the job, right? So, not necessarily what's best for me. <laughs> It is a suboptimal, exactly. Well, I, I do I do high quality recordings uh, while I stream and then upload them to YouTube. Yeah, the, t uh, the yeah the problem is I just don't have time. I do this for eight hours a day, guys, and then I also do full time college and then full time parenting my children on top of it. So it just becomes uh, time constraint, time constraint. But I've only got a year and two months left of college, guys. And then I've successfully done four years of college in three years and two months with a 4.0. Well, 4.0 so far. We'll see. Shit. Morse Revenge. Where are they at? Where are they at, Grim? Morse Revenge is here, guys. Oh, I've got 300 more stone. What's going to Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. 
I misinterpreted the situation. Grim said Morse Revenge. That was after Etsuki said which guild is the most powerful in this world. He was being sarcastic. Well, anyway, there's um, 300 more stone. I'm going to go and get some more. That is true, Bandana. Well, you know what? Tomorrow, tomorrow is Wednesday. Kappa Chapa, how soon PvP? Whenever it happens, man. Right now, I'm not looking for it. Right now, I'm looking to level up my... Uh, my masonry, brother. Oh, you're solid, Grim. <laughs> You know, I don't know. Hey, Dunder. Dunder. Hey, Tsuki6759. Thank you for the volume of the ponage. Welcome to the stream. It is fantastic to have you here. Mr. Ting, welcome to the stream. It's good to have you here, my man. How are you doing today? Do you smell that? It smells like we have a new poner. Next time he levels it up, you can just explain it as he does it. We can make a Twitch clip of it like Do you we smell that? did for a moving It rock. smells like we have a new poner. Indeed, that's true. That's a great idea, Methy. That's a great idea. And then if you guys clip them, it'll let me know. Cause I because I can I can follow that clip into the mainstream to get the timestamp so I can actually cut it from the high quality video and upload it to YouTube. Now we're thinking, now, now we got a process down. Sard86. Welcome to the stream. It's good to have you here. You are the ponage, my man. Doing good. Great stream. Thank you very much, Ting. I appreciate that, brother. You want to see some fight scene? You know, the thing about fighting this game, you just got to wait it out. It'll happen. I promise. It's like the weather. If you don't like it, just wait. It'll change. <laughs> There'll be a fight scene, I promise. It's just all about all about waiting time. Honestly, if, you, if you're looking to see really big fights, um, like, like huge, like a... Uh, in-game raids, like, uh, what I mean by in-game is, uh, you know, main world raids, like, uh, large raids. Do you You're probably not going to see them on stream. It smells like uh, we have Unless there's, like, a massive delay on the stream. Uh, and that's because it didn't make, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense because there's so many players that are watching streams. So if they, if you're like, like, uh, oh, we're going to go raid so-and-so. And even if you're a half hour delayed, it might take us an hour to get there because of how large the world is. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to stream that kind of content in this game. So... Trying to see that kind of stream, you're only going to see really small, like maybe raiders that aren't like large scale battles. Um, I would look more to YouTube content coming from uh, streamers like myself, right? So, so if you're looking to see something catch it live on stream, not the way it's going to happen. Uh, you'll see raids, like small scale raids and stuff like that on my stream. Uh, us defending against raids. You'll also see me streaming our judgment hours, but you will not see me, however. Um, you will not see me stream a very large scale invasion of somebody's lands with the entire alliance on stream. You won't see that. You will see me record that and upload it to YouTube. Um, what about H&G streaming? No, no, big man. Just go kill some newbies. 
Well, man, I, last time I killed a newbie, it brought me to negative 20. Or, I'm sorry, it brought me down 20 alignment. That's why I'm negative... Oh, you can't see it right now because of that. But I'm a negative 2 now because of that shit. So, so give me a few days. Let me get, let me get my levels back up. Ice Slayer, did you, did you watch me back in the H and G days? Oh, dude. Oh, Ross, are you talking about uh? Oh my god, I'm blanking on his name, dude. Are you an old HG player? So am I, man. Do you smell that? It smells like we have a new poner. <laughs> Grim is like, please no. <laughs> Monk64, thank you for the follow of the ponage. Welcome to the stream, it's good to have you here. Are you part of TAW? Dude, that's hilarious, man. Yeah, I've got like a thousand some hours in H&G, man. I used to stream it every single day. Every single day, man. That was my old, that was my old everyday stream game. I streamed it for like a year, man. There's no way you didn't know me. There's no way we haven't seen each other. I played the Germans, and then when the Soviets came out, I went to the Soviets. die starving when I will be AFK collecting mushrooms. Um, feed yourself? <laughs> like, you can't, you're not just gonna be able to AFK farm forever, my man. And don't make a macro for it. Don't listen to Cerebok. You will get banned from the server if you do complex macroing. Like feeding yourself so you don't have to come back to your computer for eight hours straight. The only thing you're, you're allowed to macro is the only thing you're allowed to macro is single click actions very very simple single click action with pauses in between that's the only thing that anybody's authorized to macro single click actions very very simple things you can't have anything that makes you move while you do stuff you can't have it do one thing for a little bit and then switch to a different thing for a little bit and then switch back Oh well, yeah. So Saravok, but uh, there's no reason to macro if you're if you're literally just grabbing mushrooms. Mushrooms take zero stamp, so there's no reason to macro anything. Just click the ground, and you could do it for three hours. Well, no, Saravok. It doesn't take any stamina. It takes it takes zero stamina to to gather mushrooms. No idea, man. I play the game to play the game. I don't I don't AFK the game. No, it doesn't, sir. I just did it for an hour, man. Didn't lose a lick of anything. The only thing I lost was food over time. I literally I literally just did it for an hour. Oh yeah, yeah. Plant fiber. Yeah, plant fiber is different. Plant fiber does drain hard stam and your normal stam. Very, very slowly, but it does. Yeah, yeah, so Mushrooms literally does zero dr stamina drain. I have no idea why. I think they should fix it personally. <laughs> but... I personally think they should ban all macroing in the game. But that's my personal opinion. 
I think the game's meant to be grindy and there should be no reason to macro in the first place. <laughs> Matthew, you're like, I think... So, I think the, uh... Uh, so for... You, you technically could make a single button macro, Saravok. It wouldn't be effective, but what you could do is position yourself like this on a square, right? So you're looking across it. And then you could make it so that your default action on the tile was to gather herbs. I can't do it on that one. So you could make it so the default action is to gather herbs. And then make it so you're looking right at the center of it. And then make it so that when you find an herb, it'll pop up right in front of your, you know, right in front of your mouse bar there. <laughs> yeah, you're right, yeah. Well, no, no, what I'm saying, though, is... So you have a position so that when it pops up in front of you, you're just still clicking, but the default action on the herb itself is to gather it. You'd only be able to gather the one herb right in front of you, though. Oops. I mean, I can show you what I mean. I don't actually have to even macro it to do it. I just got to do this until I can find an herb, which might take a few times. Oh, good call, good call. Yeah, the only way. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so the only way, the, the only way to level that would be to cheat. Yeah, yeah, good call, Saravok. Yeah, sorry, man, you're right. Hello. I thought... Hello? Petey, how are you doing, man? Good, thanks. And you? I'm doing well, brother. Playing the game less than... <laughs> yeah, basically, right? or macroing and shit like that i've honest i've honestly hated all of those like i'm not talking about clicking i don't you know it's allowed so i can't say anything about it it's just you know the the devs say it's okay so it's whatever not a big deal they say it's cool i'm cool with it but personally i, I wish that they wouldn't but it's whatever i'm a really weird guy guys like uh, guys and gals I'm a weird person. Like I, I'm, I'm a purist. I think that if you want something, you got to earn it. And I, that's in life, in video games, and everything. Uh, I just feel like you got to earn stuff, man. And I think macroing is not a way to earn anything, even if it's a simple macro like a click macro. I don't know. I'm a purist. I know it's weird. I, I know it's strange. <laughs> it's just the way I am, guys. I don't hate people that, you know, stay within the rules and whatever, you know, to each their own. I, I, I'm the, I'm also the kind of person that knows that everybody's different and I'm okay with that. However, I despise cheating. So if somebody is actually cheating, uh, like if I find out somebody in my guild is cheating on something, like if they're doing a, like get the fuck out of my guild, no place for you here. Anyone who drops off on the town of New Byland, negative Ice Slayer. I sat there and made every clear, every single one of them, man. Literally, I do zero macroing at all. I refuse, man. I'm a purist, Ice Slayer. I'm a purist. 
The Montasaurus. Yeah, I got nothing against people that do the, you know, the clicking actions, man. I got nothing against it. It's just that's not me, man. That is not me. Even throughout the day, like when I'm doing homework and shit for school, I'll log into all my characters and do like the prayers and shit in the middle of the day. Alt tab out, alt tab back in, do another prayer, or, you know, gather herbs, something. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly, so that's exactly it, Warlike Man. That's why I say, man, to each their own. If it's allowed, I'm cool with it. I mean, you know, like, I don't have to personally like it for me to be okay with it. You know what I mean? I'm a very, uh, what's the word for like accepting? I'm, a, I'm, I'm an accepting individual. And so it's like when, if something's allowed, it's like, whatever, man, it's cool. I don't do it. I don't, I don't, I don't like to do it. I don't like the idea of doing it, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to accept that other people do it. It's not an issue. It ain't hurting me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, it like, like, but I am a weird stickler for rules. So it's like, as soon as, you know, like if, if a developer is like, don't do this anymore, I'm like, guys, don't do this in my guild. I'm a streamer and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of ethics and morals and I'm a man of my word. So if you're doing this, stop. If you don't want to stop, find another guild, I guess. I didn't realize. La -da -da, la -da. <sighs> There's two of me breathing heavy. See, so that makes sense to me, Warlike. I totally, I totally get that. That makes sense. So much faster just to sit down for a second. Creepy and all, unless you're, unless we're watching your stream. I know, right? <laughs> I was seeing the same thing. I'm like, I, I'm like, I don't, I don't know why. I was like, I, I, in my mind, I was like, I don't know why I even hit the push to talk button to laugh. That makes me very happy, Sarabok. Did we uh, did we get the horse and cart back from the Brotherhood of Steel? Yeah, they're back. Okay, and that's good. Yeah, I think uh, Dunder, you're the one that rescued him, right? Well, I think um, they got. They I got, don't know. Well, I I, th I think Dunder rescued them, and then they got they were first rescued by TV. Oops, damn it. They were first rescued by TVO, and then uh, Dunder went over to TVO and grabbed them.
Yeah, it was so unfortunate. <laughs> I went to help Ross gather uh, sand so he could work on his... So... <laughs> you broke up a little bit. You see, as soon as we entered their claim. Dude, that, that's what happened to me. Uh, I don't remember. Did you see that episode or not? That my stream? When uh, the damn horse got stuck on TVV's claim because of a disconnect? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it's so irritating, man. They need to, like, maybe stop the timer until the servers come back online. I mean, that makes sense to me. Yeah, but we uh, we were able to lock straight back in, and even with the the three-minute timer, we, we couldn't get the horse cut back. We, we still oh. couldn't interact with it on their land because we didn't have permission. That is lame. Yeah, cause it, well, if you get off the horse, it starts a three-minute timer. But I bet you the process of, you know, logging off and logging back on took more than three minutes from beginning to end. Because sometimes logging in takes quite a while. Alright guys, this will be a good start for the power hour here. Remember I was saying we need to use some uh, lower quality three ingredient foods to build up the uh, build up the base there. And then we'll use high quality four ingredient foods. To actually do the power hour. Do we know if there's any uh, hard stand preps? There should be uh, some inside the cart that's inside the warehouse. I'm pretty sure there's some there or in the. Uh, maybe it got moved. Roger that. I can look around for you if you want. I'm in the base now. I'm here too. I'll, I'll look in the uh, in the cart in the warehouse first. It used to be in the back boxes in the warehouse at least, but they moved the boxes so... Yeah, nobody knows where the hell they went. I'm not doing power hour yet, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not doing it yet. I'm just gonna repair up some of these kilns and whatnot. Outside of power hour. I still have to put all the rock in them too, Grim. Or uh Methy. You weren't sweet bone to take forever. Hold ya. Price of um controller. Absolutely ghetto true. Um, yeah, they need to they need to do some work on their storage, for sure. Even if you could just name a box, like if you could name boxes, I don't know, like naming boxes would be great. That way if somebody looked at it and it said like, instead of just saying crate, you could name it as like a guild leader, like you could make it a trait, like, a she is not a whore. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we should have you just stand up on the walls and yell at anybody that rides by. Your mother's a whore. Not name boxes, I my need friend. To soon, to be honest. Oh, uh, uh, let Fox know. Nearly, nearly two months, and yeah, so Fox is yeah, Fox is making weapons today. He was asking earlier, but you weren't online yet. What uh, what weapon do you want? Well, I need a, a two-handed weapon. I don't really care which one. But, uh, well, it definitely depends on your skill level. Uh, so, what what's your skill right now? In uh, the salter, are are you you're already in Vanguard? Is, the is sixty. Yeah, yeah, I'm already, uh, I'm level 40 Vanguard. Level 40 Vanguard? So do you want the Bardiche? Yeah. Mm. Like the pull arm? If you go to Vanguard level 30? Yeah, yeah, to be honest, I just prefer the, the two-header sword. Okay. Um, so, because I can, so... do the, uh, I can do the power attacks in that skill tree. Yeah, I can't so... Do the power attacks with the other weapons, so. And you're already level 60 in Assaulter, I'm assuming, yeah? Oh yeah, you have yeah. to be. Okay, so which one do you want? Which one do you like? Out of the two. At level 60. Well, the second one, I guess. I can't see the names of them, but... Uh, yeah. yeah the one you look at that, man. I hate it. I'll look them up real quick for you, though. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. You can mouse over them to see which one it is. So the second one is the Zvihander. Or the Zvihander. The two-hander. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it's German. Yeah, it's German for two-hander. Alright, Fox, did you hear that? Can we get the, the Zvihander? Not the Flamberg. The Flamberg. Wait, you get an S stock in that line? What the hell is the S stock? This right here? This is a hand and a half. This is this is a hand and a half sword. I did not know that. That's pretty legit. E I is pronounced I. Hey. Subscriber! Hold oh, on, there's lots of noise on my end. What's going on? Um, I'm mining gold right now, and I'm getting like. Da, 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 da. Well, I'm just. Message, mess yeah, message Methy. Methy? So, okay. Yes, uh, D terrible. Yeah, send him, a, send him a PM, he'll tell you what to do. Okay, I'll message him then. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's scared Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to mute it out over chat. <laughs> Sorry, right. man. Thanks for the help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Six months already. I know, man. It's it's, a, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. How are you doing, brother? How, how's the EU server going? What'd you say? Was that your battle cry? It was my battle cry. A little bit like a uh, murloc, but it's all right. Battle cry is a battle cry, right? Hey, Fox. 
I'm going to put. Hey, can you can you hear me, Fox? Damn it! No, stop it! Fox, 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 fox. Alright, I think I'm actually going to be able to complete the kitchen now. Let me see what else we need. I also, I also want to double check to make sure it's ingots. Yeah, it is. Other than that, yeah, we'll be able to get everything else real easy. I think it was bands, right? Not sheets. Yeah, we need eight more bands. The wood is too easy. Yeah, yeah, uh, so also if you can make, uh, unless there's already some around, I need eight bands as well. And I'm gonna I'm gonna work on repairing your blacksmiths right now. Are there any bands in here? Not that I saw. see some sheets, no bands. Do you need any iron from me? Took a break from gaming because the promotion? Well, that's good, man. I mean, I you know, promotions are good, so... I do two read chat, man. Sorry, dude, I was just... I got, I got really distracted there trying to chase him down. Uh, I need eight. Yeah, just eight bands. Uh, I went the wrong way. Probably too many things for us to type in this chat, Slim. <laughs> I do got the meds I need, Sarah Bach. I know you're talking. I know you're talking baffled, but I'm good. I got promoted at work. Now I'm going on a holiday to the Czech Republic. Oh, nice, dude. That's that sounds like fun, man. I'm solid on meds, brother. I love that I can repair it as he's using it. Well, this one's actually solid, too. That's kind of funny. Now it's perfect. I'm a mouse at the yeah. very high sensitivity. Yeah. So we need some billets. Four boards? Yeah, I can make that happen. Woods in this one. 60? Seems like a... Um... I need four boards. Yeah, I'll just take the board... I'll take the three boards out of it. 
Uh, ingots. Yeah, I need, uh... However many ingots I can get out of it. 103, that'll make five ingots, correct? So if I can get four ingots... Ah, yeah, fuck it, give me five, yeah. We'll keep two and we'll sell one in the market. Like, actually, like, you know, like, don't, not to the king, but actually sell it, sell it. Well, you have a great night, Montesaurus. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you being in the Pony Army, and I hope to catch you next time, brother. We'll see you again tomorrow. Actually, guys, tomorrow, tomorrow is my nor it's my late start day. So tomorrow, um, I actually got invited to play a game by a developer. Um, it's way out of the norm, um, but it's a game that my son will love. So actually, you're gonna get a treat. There's a treat in the works, guys. It's gonna be a video of me playing a game while my son's sitting in my lap, thinking he's playing the game. <laughs> it's a train game. He loves trains. Um, it's like a train empire simulator. It's actually called... Let me take a look at what it's called, actually. So I'm gonna be not streaming it, but uh, the first half of the day, because it's my late start day, it's gonna be me and my son playing a game, recording it, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. And it's called... It's weird, it's the first time I ever got invited to something like that. It was kind of strange. Very out of the blue, they sent me a press kit for a Railway Empire. Railway Empire. I'm not allowed to review it, but I'm allowed to make Let's Play videos of it. God damn it. Getting used to this new keyboard is driving me crazy. Any word on that armor? What armor? Matthew, you needed a few boards. Yeah, three boards per thing. Yeah. Steve, how are you doing, man? Good morning. You're up early, man. What are you doing up so early? Go to sleep. There's three boards in there for you. I cut out some extra on accident while I was looking in my emails for the game. Keep on thinking three. I think it's like the 30th time I've done that to you. Ooh, that's a great idea, Methy. That's a fantastic idea, actually. Then we just carry a card over to you and call it good. How are you doing, my man? The Dunk Academy has declared war on Roman, the Roman 13th Legionnaire Cohort. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel bad that you you got into the game. Uh, Steve, when you're streaming it, if you're streaming it, dude, feel free to, you know, recruit some peeps. Um, we're not taking any more into the town, but we are recruiting realm guys. Guys that want to live in the realm and kind of work more independently. Um, the people, people that kind of want to play solo, that kind of thing. Yeah, they won't have access to the town, 
but uh, they'll have they'll be able to work independently on their own. They get a five by five square, so this is kind of what you can tell them. They get a five by five personal claim, and uh, the if they partake in group activities such as digging trenches and that kind of stuff, we will pay them the silver and stuff that they need to maintain their monuments. Um, there will also be a trade house set up for trading between the guild, the, the realm, and the town. Made it to 60. Building maintained, baby. Here, a 50 alignment. Nice. That reminds me, I failed my prayer earlier. God despises me. Why do you not love me, God? Go through and just repair everything. Why not? Might as well before it breaks. Somebody using a horse cart out there? No, it's on uh, horse. Loco who took a horse to the bank. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry, it's easy. So I got you can pull out as many bars as you want. So all you gotta do is pull out a bar, alright, position it anywhere on the screen. And then all you got to do, give me one second, let me put these back, and those will go crazy. All you got to do is hit F10, click on this little opacity button right here, click on that, it'll bring up, you know, you can make it so it's not very well seen, change it to 52, and then on your secondary bar, it's going to start on lock, so it'll go away every time you're not in the mouse menu. So you got to you gotta lock it in place so you can see it even when you're not tabbed. So when you're looking around, it'll still show up as long as you lock it there. Problem at all, sir. That's what I'm here for, my man. Some of these are actually more beat up than I thought they would be. Because they're actually being used now, which is so nice. My tummy is a rumbling right now, guys. What did I eat tonight? I don't think I ate dinner tonight, guys. Did I? Did I eat dinner? I don't think I did. I think... Nope. Oh, well, I ate kind of like a breakfast thing at like 2 p.m. That was like 12 hours ago. And then I had three cookies. So I probably should eat something. I only got an hour left of streaming. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking like, okay, I only got an hour left of stream, then I'll eat something. So that's loco out there, right? What happened to the hair? <laughs> this is my normal haircut, guys. I was trying something new. I was trying something new with the hair thing. It turns out I don't like it. 
The army has made it so I just don't like hair. I can't stand hair. It touches my face. It, I just don't like it at all. Turns out I can't do the whole hair thing, guys. This is the most boring part of being a builder, is maintaining buildings. Hey, I got more than enough right here, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just so used to being bald, man, over the last eight years of my life, man. Been bicking my hair for the army for so long. It just feels weird having hair. I thought I'd give it a try. But I didn't like it. Says the man with, I know, Bracca. I know it seems crazy, but the but this hair isn't like coming up and like touching my face or uh, getting in my eyes when I lean forward to like work on a car. You know what I mean? Like, it's just just gets in the way. Annoying. I don't have anything against people with hair. <laughs> I just cannot stand it. It's always in my way. Oh yeah, I could imagine. That's the problem with having a beard sometimes is eating. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fox. I appreciate that, man. As soon as I'm done with these repair kits I've got in my hand, I'm gonna go build that baby up, man. Thank you very much, kind sir. I did that twice. Guys, I'm loving these loots. Keep them coming. Every dollar made on loots goes straight to you guys, man. Goes straight to you guys in giveaways. Exclamation point loots. In order to be a part of the giveaways, you have to do the loots because that's how I figure out how many tickets you have in the drawing at the end of the month. Also note that you do not need to be present to win at the end of the month because you've already done the work. You don't have to be here to win. We will do it live on stream, the drawings, because I do it through a... Maybe I'll find an application this time. I don't know, but normally I just do it through a through an Excel sheet um, using a random number generator. an hour. Looks like I'm not going to be doing my power hour today for masonry. I'll have to do it tomorrow. Oh, no, that's right. They put it on 22, 22 hour cooldown. I forgot. So I can still do it and then do another do another one tomorrow. Um, you're, I, yeah, you're right. Oh, man, guys, I missed Christmas. It was after my stream and I logged in afterwards. What day is it in game right now? They didn't do anything special for Christmas? Not that I noticed, no. Nope. No, none of the crops suddenly blossomed, none of the trees suddenly erupted out the ground, so, no, nothing interesting. 
okay. We, well, I didn't we miss lit anything. A, we lit a bunch of signal fires, but that's about it. <laughs> Oh, we've got lighting. Yeah, there's How a much more stone right do you need to finish this road? Is it like 30 per tile or? 30, yeah, 30 per. And then when you dig it up, you only get 15. All right, there's 600 there. I'll, I'll go and get some more. Okay. Yeah, I think we need like 37 more of these, right? Or is it 32? 32 more? Yeah, yeah we're either... What day is it in game right now, guys? I can't open up my map, but I've got my cover thing up. 30th, 30th. 30th, alright. So I think we got... We have about... A month, maybe, of real real time left of winter for our server. Because every day is 4.8 days. Uh, every every real real life day is 4.8 days in game. So with that being said, every month is about a fifth of the time. And we started month a month earlier than the server south of us. So there's no basically just doing basic math in my head. I'm thinking we have about a month of real time left. Some people are estimating 12 days, but I think it's 12 days for central. And then here it'll be an in-game month later. There can only be loot. That's right, Montesaurus. You're not even here anymore and your loots are still coming through. I love it. That's how much of a backlog there is. It's just fucking phenomenal. Never seen this many loots. I should have been doing giveaways this way forever. Dude, that is really awesome, Kadash. That's really cool. Best way to level up herbalism to do herbalism my man <laughs> honestly there's there's no special trick to let herbalism is one of the most challenging complex systems in the game as far as like trying to power through it uh in my opinion the best way to level herbalism is to have anybody that has nature's lore help you gather herbs for like an hour or two um and then everybody gives you all the herbs and then you just power it out man do a power hour and just do nothing for an hour except mix herbs. Last log, last log. Your What's that? Last log. Last log, hell yeah. Told you it takes a while, yeah? yeah. I'm pretty sure I didn't stack enough view stacks the other day. All right, so we still need, what is that? We needed uh, 32, so we actually only need five more. Very nice. 